What's up guys, Guillermo here again with another episode of Print Pros. For today's episode, we're gonna be using one of the easiest and most popular methods to print on a t-shirt. I'm talking about direct carbon printing or DTG printing. Director Garment Printing allows you to print full color, high resolution graphics directly onto the garment of your choice. This means that you don't have to worry about printing on transfer paper or just paper in general. Just place your garment on the printer and let the machine do its thing. It's that easy. One of the great things about DTG printing is that it requires very little setup. So you can print short runs quickly and on demand. Also, DTG printing allows you to do high quality, small volume printing. So if you're working out of your home or a small shop, this printer is an excellent way to pump out smaller batches. Now to demonstrate how awesome DTG printing is, I'm going to be using the Rico R1000. This is our newest DTG printer to print on a black t-shirt. You can also purchase this printer as an all-inclusive package that includes pre-treat, an automated heat press, and you can purchase it all through Ricoma's website. If you wanna check that out, go down to the link in the description. Now, make sure to watch this episode all the way to the end where I'm gonna be going over how much you can expect to make out of printing shirts like this on a DTG printer. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, so let's go over what we're gonna to need to print on a t-shirt using our DTG printer. So first up, we're gonna be needing our DTG printer, which like I mentioned before, is the Rico RI1000. Now, if you wanna learn more about this printer, go down to the link in the description. Then we're gonna be needing our shirts. Now we bought our shirts from a wholesaler that already pre-treats the shirts for us. Now, if you don't know what pre-treat is, don't worry, I'm gonna be covering it later on in this video. Then we're gonna be needing a heat press. For that, we're gonna be using the HP 16 by 20. And like the printer, if you wanna learn more about this heat press, go down to the link in the description. We're gonna be needing one sheet of craft paper and some scissors. Now, if you're interested more about learning how to price your DTG printed shirts, our CEO, Henry Ma, actually has his own show called The Apparel Academy, and he has an entire episode that goes in depth into this topic. You can check it out by going to either the cards above or the link in the description. All right, so let's talk about how much profit you can make out of selling DTG printed shirts like this one. First up, we bought these pre-treated shirts from an online wholesaler for $5 each. That means that we don't have to worry about the pre-treat. And again, don't worry, I'm gonna talk about what pre-treat is later on in this video. I haven't forgotten. Now, if you choose to pre-treat your own shirts, it's gonna probably cost you about 50 cents per shirt. So just add that on to the price of whatever shirt you decide to buy. The ink is gonna cost you, depending on the design, between two to five dollars. But in this case, let's just say it's two dollars. That brings the overall cost of our t-shirt to $7. Now you can sell shirts like this for around $20, so that ends up giving you a profit of about $13 per shirt. All right, so finally, let's talk about the printing process. But first, let's go over what pre-treat is. See, I told you, I didn't forget. So the pre-treat process is basically just priming your t-shirt so that it can be printed on. What you do is that you spray a chemical onto your t-shirt or in the area where you want to print on your t-shirt. And what that does is that it makes the ink adhere better to the actual garment. You can do this by using a spray gun or an automated pre-treat machine. The spray gun is obviously the cheaper option. Another option, like the one that we're using today, is that you just buy your t-shirts already pre-treated from a wholesaler. This step is easy, but it's a very important part of the printing process when it comes to DTG printing. And just to show you how important the pre-treat process is, I actually printed on a t-shirt that was not pre-treated just to show you what happens. This is an easy step, but it's very important when it comes to DTG printing. As you can see, the pre-treating is not a step you wanna skip. Now we can make an entire other episode just on pre-treat and we probably will, but if you have any questions about pre-treat or if you have any suggestions for any future episodes, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. All right, so before we do any printing, let's go over to our heat press and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the tray. That way I don't have to be working underneath the hot element of the press. Now I'm gonna be placing my pre-treated t-shirt on the heat press. Now what I'm gonna be doing right now is that I'm going to be pressing this shirt just for 10 seconds, just to get rid of any moisture or wrinkles especially. All right, so just 10 seconds, I'm gonna put the tray back in and here we go. All right, so once the timer runs out, the heat press is gonna automatically open. And here we have our nice, flat pressed t-shirt ready for the DTG. Again, if you guys are interested in this heat press, go down to the link in the description. Right, so I'm gonna take my shirt out of the press and let's go over to our DTG. Okay, so now we're at the Rico DTG printer. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the bracket from the platform. Others call this the platen. 
Now these platens are interchangeable, so if you want to print on something bigger or something smaller or a different garment altogether, you can buy a different platen or a different platform for that garment. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw my t-shirt on the platform. I'm gonna try to make it nice and straight. I'm putting the collar facing myself. Now what I am trying to do is that I'm trying to make sure that the collar is right at the edge here. Then I'm going to be placing the bracket back on to the DTG. And what this is gonna do is that it's going to secure the t-shirt on the actual printer. And then lastly, I'm just gonna make sure that any excess fabric from the t-shirt is all within the platform. Okay, so now that we have our t-shirt on our DTG, let's go over to the computer so we can send over the design. Okay, so here we are in our printing software for our DTG printer. Now today I'm just gonna be quickly doing a simple overview of how to print using this software. But if you guys wanna see and learn more about it, then just write down in the comments below and we'll make videos in the future going more in depth into it. All right, so I already brought in my design. You can see it right here. There it is, but we gotta make a few adjustments before we press print. So I'm gonna double click on the file here and I'm gonna first position it. So I'm gonna be offsetting it by about two inches from the left and about two and a half inches from the top. That two and a half inches from the top is what's gonna give me that four fingers from the collar measurement that I was talking about earlier. And the two inches from the left is the value that I found would put the design right in the center. After that, I'm gonna go back into the settings and then I'm gonna go to color. And then I'm gonna go up to this drop down menu for media and I'm gonna choose black garment. Now I know my shirt is not completely black, it's actually this very dark blue, but if you're printing on anything that isn't white, then it is considered a black garment, unless it is a very light color for which you would select the white garment. But for anything else, choose black garment. After that, I'm gonna go to settings, and this is gonna allow me to adjust the contrast and the saturation. I did all these tests so that I could find the settings that would give me the most vibrant print. And what I found is that for a black shirt, what I had to do was go to profiles, and where it said saturation enhancement, choose high. Now, if it was a white shirt, what I found was that I also had to put it on high, but raise the contrast to about 45%. But since I'm doing this on a black shirt, I don't have to raise the contrast. If I did, I would end up with a lot more extra ink on top of my design, and it would start to look all blotchy. So that's about it, I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. Then go to rip, and I'm gonna click on use document transparency. What that is gonna do it is that it's going to tell the software to respect the transparency that I have put into my design. And that way we're gonna get rid of that white border around it. And I'm gonna press okay. And as you can see that white border turned black. That means that that white border has now been removed and all that's gonna be printed is the actual design that's in color. Now it turned black because we're printing this on a black t-shirt. Okay, so now that we're set up, we are pretty much ready to press print, so I'm just gonna select my garment. Now you can do this multiple different ways, but what I like to do is just right click on the file and go up to print, press print. Now the software is gonna process it and send it over to the printer. So let's go over to our DTG now. All right, so now we're back here at our DTG, and as you can see, my design just appeared there on the screen. Now before we print, we have to set the right height for our platform. To do that, we're gonna set it to its highest position, and we are going to make it go inside of the printer. Now the printer is going to give us an error and it's gonna tell us that it is way too high. And what we're gonna do is that we're going to slowly adjust it downward until the printer accepts it. That way we know that it is at the highest possible position that it could be for this kind of garment. Every single time that you're going to print on a new kind of garment, whether it be a sweater or a t-shirt or a tank top, you should readjust the height to make sure that you are in the perfect height for that garment. To raise up the platform, we are gonna go down here and there is a green knob and we're going to turn it to the right to raise the platform. We're gonna turn it all the way until we start encountering a lot of resistance. That's how we know that it is all the way up, okay? It's not going anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the shirt back and I'm going to press set on my screen over here. Now the printer tried to insert the platform, but it couldn't because it is way too high and it is indicating that by saying obstacle detected and showing an orange square. So what we have to do is then we have to go back to our knob and we have to slowly turn it in the opposite direction until that orange square turns gray. There, just turned gray. You can see that right there. 
So now that means that I press return and then when the next time that I press set, the design should go all the way in and start printing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and press set. And there we go. All right, so the shirt is done being printed, but we're not completely done yet. We actually have to take it over to the heat press to finish it off. All right, so I'm throwing the shirt back onto my heat press. I'm gonna place a sheet of craft paper on top of my design, and I'm gonna be pressing it for 90 seconds at 330 degrees Fahrenheit at medium pressure. All right, so the heat press is done. I'm gonna take it out, remove my craft paper. And there we have the finished design. All right, before we wrap this video up, let's show a few more shots of that shirt we made with the DTG. All right guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching me use a Directed Garment printer to create a great looking t-shirt for your customers, family, and friends. If you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, make sure to drop them down in the comments below. And remember, the Rico RI1000 is available as a special package at Ricoma. So click on the link in the description below to order yours today. Also head over to Facebook and join our free Facebook group Embroidering Custom Apparel Mastery. There you can connect with other apparel decorators like myself. And if you're interested in getting the latest news in the world of decorated apparel, follow us on our Instagram, Aricoma HQ. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.